Agents will have four minutes to complete each of the following missions. Each group will get a bag with different pieces in it. When the pieces are put together, they will make up the picture of a continent. When the teacher says go, all agents will have one minute to unscramble the pieces and assemble their map. Each group gets a bag of four toothbrushes and four cups in addition to a thing of dental floss. Each toothbrush has the name of a language on it, and the cups have a name of a country on it. The agents have to get the toothbrush into the cup that speaks that language, but only using the floss. The agents will get two strips of floss, stand across from each other, and balance the toothbrush on the floss and manipulate the floss in order to move the toothbrush into the cup. There will be a circle of 10 papers on the floor. One paper will have a ping pong ball on it. Agents will have a map. Each paper has a different country name on it. The agent will have to move the ping pong ball from country to country, but here's the trick. Each successive country must border the country it came from. Agents will use a map to test the map reading skills. They will use the map to determine which country they must move the ping pong ball to. The trick is they can only move the ping pong ball by using a piece of paper to fan the ping pong ball to move it. Agents will have a game of Jenga set up, as shown in the video, and will play Jenga in which the cards must be removed from top to bottom. One agent must correctly answer a random trivia question that is related to general knowledge of foreign countries that will be written on the card that they removed for them to keep going. Otherwise, it is the opponent's turn. The person to remove the last card wins, so it is important to answer questions consistently and correctly. If an agent knocks the stack down, they must answer the question correctly or they automatically lose. If they get the question right, they can set the game back up from where it was knocked over. Good luck. You'll have four empty halves of soda liter bottles set far apart from each other. Each one will have a disease or problem on it, for example, AIDS, hunger, or deforestation. Each group will get four tennis balls and they will have to get the tennis ball into the soda liter by throwing them. Each tennis ball has a country name on it and they will have to get it in the soda bottle that has the name of the disease that is a big problem in that country. For example, AIDS is for Africa. Students have will have two minutes to complete this challenge.